Well, hello. It's uh, 2025, and that means it is a new year of advent of code. Um, not much to say. I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm a little rusty. But as you can see, the form is just unlocked, so we're going to go and see what happens. I'm just going to run that and see how that shows up. Okay, the girls with good news, bad news. Uh, no, we're gonna still going to try and do this as quickly as we can. And so um, let's get going and just skip straight to the problem. Uh, we got to, what do we have to do? The safe has a dial with an error on it. Around the dial are the numbers 0 to 99 in order. As you can tell, it makes a small click. Uh, contains sequence of rotations, one per line, which tells you how to open the safe. A rotation starts with an L or an R. I indicate whether it should be left or right. Left is smaller than the rotation has distance value, which indicates how many clicks the dial should be rotated in that direction. So the dial will point at 11, a rotation of R8 will point to 18, R19, L19 will point it back to 0. Yep. <clears throat> because the dial is a circle, turn left from 0 makes it both a 99, so mod 100. Um, if the dial were pointing at 5, rotation of L10 would point it at 95. Yep, makes sense. Uh, shall we start with that? The dial starts at 50. Because the dial points at 0 at a total 3 times, reinforces this password in the example is 3. So we're counting how many times it points to 0. Where does it start? The style starts at 50. Okay, um, so just because I'm not sure how Go handles negative modulos, I'm just going to start it at like 99.50 or something. Uh, dial is this. Uh, for um, instruction in the data, if uh, the first character is an L, we go dial, uh, we've got to parse it first actually, um, uh, N is uh, string conv dot A to I, uh, from my <laughs> autocomplete isn't working actually, which kind of sucks. Uh, so let's hope I know go well enough. Um, dial minus equals n, else dial plus equals n, and we're counting how many times it reaches zero. Um, <clears throat> if dial mod a hundred equals zero, zeros plus plus, print zeros. What do we get? 1180 is the answer apparently. Yes, okay, let's keep going. That was quite straightforward. You're sure that's the right answer, but don't want to open your knock, no one answers. Uh, please use method that instead. Uh, it means you're supposed to actually count the number of times any click causes the dial to point at zero, regardless of whether it happens during a rotation or at the end of one. So every time it passes through zero, we want to count it, I think. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> a rotation like that will point it at zero ten times. Okay, well. Uh, not just ending at zero, but point pa rotating past zero. Uh, I'm going to have to use this as a test, but I'm thinking something along the lines of <clears throat> um,
thinking something along, along the lines of we can do instead of modular, we do a divide by 100 and then just count the diff. Um, so uh, the only thing I'm not sure about is is um, how that works for like landing on zero. So that's the only bit I'm not sure about. Um, so we, this is all the same. Uh, so that, but um, clicks, we'll call it. Uh, we can say, um, we just want to divide the old and new, right? So next is dial next. is dial minus n plus n. So that's all fine. Uh, but here what we want to do is we want to say if um, uh, next divide by 100 minus dial divide by 100 uh, Delta is that. If delta is less than zero, then delta. Let me flip it around. And I think we can just go clicks plus equals delta. So that seems to be fine on the test data. Um, which lands on zero a few times. So we're just going to try it and see what happens. Whoa, okay. We got close. Okay, it's, it, it must be close. It's just um, probably something to do with how it lands on zero. Yeah, if it lands on zero. Uh, if it lands on zero when it's go when it goes backwards, if it lands on zero when it goes backwards, um, if okay, if the next one hundred is zero and zero is going backwards and uh, n is less than 100, then we add one to clicks. I think that's what we want. Uh, let me just check with this, and that, that this still returns 6. Now it returns 8, which is wrong. Uh, is it going backwards that that is the problem? I, maybe, maybe, hmm. Now there's some edge case I'm missing. Um, now if it goes up to zero, that's fine because that's going to increase the delta. The problem is when it goes down to zero. So it should be if it goes down to zero. Um, because if we're at one and we're going under zero, then we haven't changed, but we are at zero. If we go past zero, we've gone past zero. And if you've gone past zero, it doesn't matter. Um, no, I think that is right. Rotate left thirty to point fifty two. Rotated. Thing is, if you rotate right to zero, 
then we've added one. So the delta should be correct. If it starts at zero, I'm gonna go minus 100. Ah. Okay, if we start at zero, we go minus 100. But if we start at 101, and we go minus, if we start at 101, and we go left 101, we're at zero. We still need to add one, but not but not if we started on zero. If you start on zero and you go left one. We start on 100 and go left 100, it is plus 1, which is what it is. But that is wrong for the for the beginning one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually just print out these um, numbers here. I'm gonna go. Uh, let's not use 9999. We're going to use this because it's a bit easier to read. What's going on? Okay. Oh, or it's not going to be easier to read. Whatever. Um, we start at 50. We go left 68. Excuse me. I'm going to shoot my eyes. Go left 68. <clears throat> pass it once, we go left 30, still at 1, we go right 48, we're at 2, we go left 5, we're at 95, ah, okay, 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 if we start at 0 and we go left, we have to minus 1, that's what it is. If the dial mod 100 is 0, which means this is going to be an else, if you start at 0 and we go left, then I got a minus one. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay. So it's just weird stuff at the zero because it's a boundary condition six, eight, nine, two. That is the answer. Okay. So that is, uh, Day one, sorry, it was just a lot of me staring into the distance and imagining the problem in my head, uh, but it's very hard to, you know, draw the stuff on a screen. Uh, there's only 12 days this year, so hopefully this will be a short and sweet series. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.